clinic tonight with Frank Bello. Yes. Uh, what's going to happen there? Not a clue. <laughs> Frank's doing his clinic, I'm doing mine, and then after that, uh, that's the part we don't have a clue about yet. So, Are you going to be teaching skills, giving advice? Yeah, a little bit of both. I mean, obviously, Frank has a uh, regimen that he does through his clinic. I have one that I do through mine, and obviously because, you know, we're now doing all this big four stuff together, Frank and I being two bass players. You know, two bass players is a lot to handle, so we've got, you know, we maybe we'll call up some guitar players and maybe get someone to sing, and we'll rip through a couple of little songs together. Pull through some of the audience? I don't know, maybe. I think it's kind of fun. I've done that before. Sometimes it's fun when you like pull someone up from the audience who, you know, yeah, you know hopefully they can play good. <laughs> and it's, and it's uh, you know, kind of fun and, and it also sounds good. So we got a couple of guitar amps set up so in case the moment shows up, we can pull someone up and jam with us. Mayhem Festival dates got announced at the end of last right. month, and it's headlining as you guys, Disturbed, and Godsmack. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, this Mayhem Fest is traditionally more for the newer bands, uh, right. a lot of Slipknot, Disturbed, in right. previous years. Uh, who approached you guys about it, and was it? You know, it's. I think it's a good mix, actually. You know, dis um, Disturbed, we've not played with and I know of, but in, you know, years ago, probably I think on the Risk Tour, I remember Godsmack was one of our support bands over in the UK. We played at Woodstock with them. They went on right before we went on. And um, you're right, it traditionally is a kind of a newer mix, but you know, it's funny, even tonight when you look out at the clinic tonight, man, it's a lot of young people out there with their, you know, Anthrax and Megadeth and Metallica shirts on. And it just goes to show, I think our whole genre has had this whole rebirth um, probably a lot because of Guitar Hero and Rock Band, right? It's exposed a lot of younger people to our music, and as a result, we're now kind of in our second, maybe even third generation of, uh, of fans growing up that are liking our music. So I think to be out of Mayhem is a perfect place for us. <laughs> Before Godsmack and Disturbed? I think the running order is Disturbed, then Godsmack, then us, and then I believe Machine Head maybe is on before that. I'm not exactly sure who's you know coming up ahead of us, but so we're basically the third to the last band. So it's a little, it's a little surprising because I kind of feel like maybe that you guys have seniority, you should be headlining over that. Yeah, but you know what? Disturbed is a really big band, with especially with those kind of tours. They just did that tour with them, and Avenged Sevenfold came through. You know, so they they really are kind of the the reigning champions of that newer music. Um, and so, you know, they've certainly earned their spot there. Um, and it, you know, again, we kind of we're, we're Megadeth is in, is, has always been in a really cool position because we can go play the Big Four, which of course is we own our corner of that ring. You know what I mean? And um, then we can go do something like this. So, you know, Mayhem to me kind of reminds me of the Ozfest we did back in '98. Sure. And that was the same thing. It was Ozzy, then it was Tool, then it was Megadeth, and then Limp Biscuit played the chorus. And I mean, talk about feeling out of place. I mean, that was a really weird transitional time in music at that point because, um, you know, our that was that point where man, thrash metal was not the favorite, not the new favorite metal, man. yeah, kid at all at that point. You know what I mean? And and. Um, you know, Limp Biscuit was coming up, and they were blowing up, and you know, and then Tool, of course, um, who I really liked watching the Tool show. After we played, I'd go out and watch it. To me, it was kind of like a modern day Rush 2112 or something. I, I liked it. I thought it was very, very, it really drew you in, you know, to what they were doing. Um, but we were in the middle, you know, playing, you know, ripping thrash metal and stuff. And, and it was just a weird, you know, we're up there in our skinny little jeans and just playing pointy guitars and <laughs> doing what we do, and you're just like, wow, this is a, like a time warp, you know. Um, you know, and, and other times, even year, over the years um, in Europe, you know, we would we played on festivals with like In Excess and REM and Cheryl Crow, and you know, we have we have a, a set list. You know, and you play Symphony of Destruction and Angry Again and Tool of On. You know, these are pretty mainstream, you know, rock tunes. You know, so we can play on those kind of bills, and then we can turn around and obviously go do Carnage with Slayer. 
You know, so we, we get invited to participate in a lot of different things that maybe other metal bands don't get those opportunities, you know, so our, our palette's pretty wide. Big four. In mm -hmm. one US state in Southern California. Right. New York got screwed on that. It's well, that's, that's three thousand miles. Here's the thing. Everybody bitches <laughs> that there's no US date. We put one on sale and then one bitch is like, dude, you're not coming to, you know, Des Moines, you're not coming to Boise. It's like, come on, man. I mean, you know, here's the thing. You know, that is a moment in time where it really works because of that Coachella uh, site there, you know, in India, in India, out in, you know, by Palm Springs. And it really it works out well. And you know, here's the other thing too is would it be great to do a big four tour? Absolutely. You know, are we all hoping that might happen? Absolutely. You know, um, but I think at this point in time, you know, um, this was going to be a much different year. I mean, as far as I knew, there wasn't going to be any big four stuff playing. All of a sudden, now bang, there's four of them in Europe. There's and and not the far eastern Europe like it was last year. Now it's Paris, it's Nebworth, you know, Germany, Italy, and then now we've got a U.S. date. So. You know, to me, the Big Four is something very special, and it's really a cool, um, it's an event. And kind of like, you know, when I was a kid growing up, there were festivals, like Iowa Jam, Texas Jam, some of these other, you know, and these were, these were big summertime, you know, California Jam, Cal Jam, as they call it. And, and these were big, like, destination festivals. And that's, to me, more what the Big Four stuff is like, is it isn't just something that just keeps going around and around and around until you just like, hate it and go, oh, my God, leave us alone, you know? Um, rather, I think for us, keeping it as this big, really, you know, shot heard around the world kind of festival is a, is a different way to do it, you know, rather than just playing it out everywhere possible. So, you know, I'd rather see it kind of keep going and being this thing that, like, when it pops up, people go, whoa, I never expected anything like that. Man. So, so you think maybe later this year, next year, we get an East Coast date? Hey, I, like, again, I, I hope we do a bunch more of them, you know what I mean? But obviously, you know, we have four bands trying to keep on, you know, putting together, uh, you know, these, uh, these events as they are now, let alone trying to do a tour or something with it, you know? So, I mean, look, again, I think I'm, I'm with the fans. I hope we could do as many of them as possible, but I also know the logistics of it, and when you look at the size of all four bands, trying to coordinate four different schedules of recording, you know, Anthrax is making a record, we're making a record, as I understand, Metallica is making a record. Um, so we got recording schedules now, touring schedules, and you know, look, if we, if we can get some new records out, as we will, you know, over the next few months or the next, you know, year or so, then there's a whole new schedule, and then things are kind of hopefully there, there's a little more clearing to you know start firing some more shows. Awesome, yeah. All right, great. Thank Excellent. you, Dave. Yes, all right, fun. Looking forward to the clinic tonight. Thanks. See you.